Here in front of me sits the HP Dragonfly Pro Chromebook, and this is a device that we are wildly excited about. We got a little bit of time at CES with it, but now we have it in the office, we have it out of the box here on the desk, and we have a few things we'd like to tell you about it. So you might wonder why this thing's already like out on the desk. Well, we wanted to do kind of this pre-teaser on social media and in short format. So like YouTube shorts, TikTok, all that kind of stuff. So you can go check that video out. And in that video, we kind of walk you through the actual unboxing experience here. And we wanted to do something a little bit different with it because uh, this one's a little bit special. So as a, as a box and a package goes for a Chromebook, this thing is uh, a little bit more extra than what we normally see. It's not the standard recycled brown box. It's got some really cool stuff going on. And I know we don't want to get like belabored with a box, but a, a, a package that a device comes in is kind of indicative of what the company kind of wants to say with a device. And HP clearly is trying to make a statement with this Dragonfly Pro. And that statement is, this thing is clean. It is to the point. It is professional but consumer it just it really knocks it out of the park and the unboxing experience was really cool uh, and inside it's just very simple it's very plain white packaging you get the chromebook and you get a charger with a braided cable and there's a couple special things about this this is a 96 watt charger so it's going to charge anything really i mean uh you know you could you could plug it into a huge gaming device and it's probably going to provide enough power for something like that as well that's that's a massive charging block it's going to provide nice fast charging hopefully for this hp and uh it also comes with this really sweet braided usb cable and uh in the if you get the black version of this it actually comes in black so this one's white and you get the black version with the black one and it's just a nice touch. It's just one of those things. It's a little bit extra. It's that little bit uh, attention to detail that, that sometimes we just don't see with Chromebooks that we're seeing with this particular one. Now, I will say with this, there's a lot of stuff I can't say. Um, I, I can't um, give a lot of opinions just yet. Now, again, we saw this at CES. We got hands on with it. Um, and so what I want to kind of point out is just some of the things that we've noticed right out of the box um, now that we have it here in the studio. And, and one is a bit of a repeat from what I said when we were in Vegas, and that is the build quality is just astounding. I really do love that. You'll notice it the second you pick it up. It's really, really nice. Uh, and just the attention to detail, the aesthetic is just clean. It's just a clean looking Chromebook. Uh, I love the way it feels in the hand. I love, I love the way it feels when you pick it up, all that kind of stuff. Um, and then if you recall, um, let me make sure my brightness is down. There we go. Um, when we were in Vegas, the uh, the screen is is crazy bright. It's a 14 inch 16 by 10 quad HD screen with up to 1200 nits of brightness, which is really awesome. Uh, great looking screen. And then you've got this really cool RGB keyboard down here that does some really nifty tricks with the background and matching color to those. So as Google works out this material use stuff for Chromebooks, this will be able to fully take advantage. You've got upward firing, but also downward firing speakers that just sound fantastic. And there's so much of this that I want to share uh, with you all that you know we need to we need to wait and do it at the right time. But it's a very very exciting Chromebook, and you can just tell from the aesthetic, the way this thing looks, that it is just top of the line. Eight megapixel camera up top, full glass trackpad that's also haptic. And again, at, at events sometimes it's hard to get a read on stuff, but I can just tell you like the key, the keys just feel amazing on this thing. The trackpad click feels awesome, and it clicks perfectly everywhere around because it's haptic. It's not really moving. It feels like they've improved on that from the original HP Dragonfly. And then inside this thing, uh, we're talking about a Core i5 uh, 12th Gen processor, 16 gigs of RAM, 256 gigs of internal storage. And the really important part here is that that. That's the only spec it comes in. If you go into the store, we assume this thing will be at places like Best Buy and uh, places like that. You'll walk in, if you want the Dragonfly Pro Chromebook, this is what you'll get. It's either white or black, and that is it. And you know that's a really cool thing and a nice move from HP. Uh, and, and hopefully, I would assume with Google too, to say, you know, we really want to consolidate the number of SKUs we have for some of these Chromebooks. And with this being this consumer focused Chromebook, it's not going to be available in enterprise or education channels. This thing is meant for consumers. 
Uh, we haven't seen a whole lot of that in this this level of fit and finish. Usually this kind of device goes straight to enterprise. Um, and so with, with this level of fit and finish, um, you know, this is a device that HP clearly wants people to be clear on, they, uh, to understand what they're getting. And when you walk in and say, I want the Dragonfly Pro, this is what you're gonna get. This is your spec, uh, no confusion there, a clean naming system, and just an absolute beautiful Chromebook that we cannot wait to share uh, more with you all about because I'm telling you, you're gonna hear me say this so many times uh, in the coming weeks and months about this Chromebook. It's special. There's something very special about this device and there are things that we know that will be able to inform you why uh, it is special, but even just some some hands-on time with it, kind of away from all the, the loudness and away from all the people and just getting to set this thing on the desk and use it for just a few minutes. I'm telling you, it is special. Uh, and I think a lot of you are going to love this Chromebook and we've got a lot to say about it, a lot to talk about with it, but that has to wait for a future video. Uh, so for this one, that's it. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button because I don't want you to miss when we could do more content on this device and tell you everything that we know about it, why it's so awesome, uh, and give you way more opinions about it uh, in, in the near future. But uh, again, if you, uh, if you like this video, thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button, and be sure and hit the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos like that review of this device I was just talking about. Until next time. We'll see you.